Good morning. All right, here we are, back again. Hope you had a great last couple of days so far. It is now Thursday, two more episodes of the week. But we're doing great, we're doing great. Let's keep it going, guys, keep it going. Party time, excellent. So, here is what we're gonna talk about today. Fun stuff, yes. Fascinating movie information about people who played roles or who were originally uh, going to play roles that passed on them and other actors ultimately became successful doing them. So this is kind of some fun stuff as far as I'm concerned. Um, to begin, let's talk about the trivia challenge here on the Cardio Blogs. If you would like to participate, there are three main rules. Further details and rules in the description box. But number one, to participate, you must be a subscriber. So click that subscribe button right down there. Number two, you must like the video. So like the video right down there. And then third, okay, you must leave a comment with the answer to today's trivia challenge question. And you can do that right down there. So you see everything is just, so convenient that is. You're welcome. I mean, I invented YouTube. I wish I had it. It's, pretty, it's a pretty awesome content source site. Um, okay. So here we go. Let's talk about actors who were originally supposed to play roles that they did not. And I'll give you the trivia question in just a minute. Emily Blunt was originally planned to play Black Widow, but she pulled out. That's kind of interesting for people who like Emily Blunt. She's gone on to have a lot of success, so I think that says her talent shows through no matter what role she's in. Um, here's what I thought that was kind of fascinating. Back when Indiana Jones was being made, um, Tom Selleck was originally planned to do the role, but he had just signed on for uh, the pilot for Magnum P.I. And so, because they didn't think the pilot would go anywhere, um, they held off production for a month, and in the process, I think it was CBS that did Magnum P.I. They basically blocked it to where Tom Selleck could not do other work because he was committed to them. So they moved on and Harrison Ford became that role. Um, interestingly enough, a little bit about uh, Indiana Jones. Harrison Ford, um, his father in one of the uh, Indiana Jones films is played by Sean Connery, but Sean Connery is actually only 10 years older than Harrison Ford. So that would have been different. Um, let's see. Oh, Sean Connery was originally offered the role of Gandalf in, uh, I guess it was the Lord of the Rings here, or was it The Hobbit? I know Gandalf was in uh, The Hobbit, but it must have been in Lord of the Rings as well. But he said he read the material and didn't understand it. Um, so I have a weird connection to Sean Connery. I have never actually met him, but I've worked with his son, Jason Connery. Uh, the last real film I did back in 2005 uh, had Jason Connery in it. I think the release date was seven, but I shot it in five. And 
it starred um, Jason Connery. So that was pretty fun. Uh, I encountered him a couple of times, had a few brief conversations with him. Um, he was actually there when I went for the initial auditions. His, the casting director's name was Ricky Anderson Masler. She's out of Los Angeles. And uh, Jason Connery was in the room with her, seeing people for the auditions. And this was first round auditions. So obviously this was an important film to him and uh, he wanted to be a part of the casting process. And I thought it was really pretty nifty that he was there. Um, but uh, we had very brief conversations about his father, but uh, nothing, honestly, that I recall. I know he's very close to his mother, I think. But uh, it's been a long time, over 10 years now, since I had these conversations. So. Um, but anyways, so Sean Conner Connery passed on the role of Gandalf. Um, they say that whenever he played 007, he um, wore a toupee. But he's not the only actor to do that, so that's just sometimes what actors do to play a role that they think has hair. Um, he originally uh, was offered another role and turned it down because he didn't understand the material. And then the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, he said he didn't really get it, but he wasn't about, about to pass on another film that he didn't understand when the two previous became successful. So, did you know that the Michael Myers mask is actually a William Shatner mask painted white. Yes, William Shatner, the captain of the Enterprise. Star date 1988. I am the Michael Myers man. I will scare the bejesus out of you. I love Priceline. I'm not sure if that shifted away from William Shatner into an odd Bill Clinton, but I love Monica Lewinsky and Priceline and Halloween. Hillary's always wearing her mask. Spooky. Anyways, uh, Donald Trump always looks like a carrot. He's got orange hair. It's like a carrot exploded on his head. He must like that carrot, dudes. Anyways, um, so, uh, um, I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, Tom Hanks, uh, was originally supposed to play the role of Jerry Maguire, but, uh, C Cameron Crowe wrote it with Tom Hanks in mind, but he was just too old for the role, ultimately, in their view, when they started doing the picture. Uh, especially probably if they connected it to um, Renee Zellweger would have looked significantly different. Even though Tom Cruise is actually, uh, I don't think he's much younger than Tom Hanks at all. So perhaps they just thought Tom Hanks looked a little older and would not work as a dynamic. But Tom Cruise killed that role. He did a great job in that part. Um, Strangely enough, I think I think I heard it already that Meg Ryan was not originally offered the role in um, Sleepless in Seattle with Tom Hanks. I want to say that it was Meryl Streep originally. That I heard it was Meryl Streep. Don't quote me on that one. But now for today's trivia question: What two actors were originally offered the roles? of Neo and Morpheus in haven't seen that movie in a long time The Matrix now um, 
Oh, here's another one. Will Smith. Will Smith was originally offered the role uh, for Chango and Ch or Django and Chain, but he uh, apparently did not care for the role because he thought it wasn't the lead role, and so he passed on it. They said he kind of did a little bit of back and forth with Quentin Tarantino, but they never came to a place where they really agreed enough. So he moved on and Jamie Foxx swooped in and the role was obviously the lead character. As a matter of fact, they said that um, Jamie Foxx, the horse he's riding in that movie, is actually his own personal horse uh, that he owns. So that was kind of cool. He said, I'm going to just use my own horse. I feel more comfortable with him. I know I can make it work. I thought that was pretty nifty. Let's see. Um, well, Meg Ryan supposedly was originally offered the role of, um, of Vivian in Pretty Woman, the role that Julia Roberts played. She was originally offered the role, but uh, she passed on it. Diane Lane apparently got as far as uh, wardrobe fittings and then dropped out. And then they went to Julia Roberts. I think there may have been one or so other people after that, before Julia, but Julia ended up taking the role and obviously she and um, Richard Gere really made that role work. As a matter of fact, they said Richard Gere, and if I remember correctly, that Richard Gere was originally offered the role of John McClane or put in mind for the role of John McClane in Die Hard. Um, uh, Bruce Willis was originally one of the people considered to play Sam Wheat in Ghost. Other people, Kevin Bacon, uh, Tom Cruise, who some of the people they said. Um, there was like five or six other people that were originally considered or offered the role before they set on Patrick Swayze. Remember? Nobody backs baby into a corner. Um, and this made me think of Chris Farley. So everybody knows uh, Chris Farley from Tommy Boy, Black Sheep, shows and movies like that. But did you know that he was originally the voice of Shrek. They actually recorded a substantial amount of dialogue for him as Shrek. I heard a little tidbit of it, um, but it was, he died during the process of that. Uh, not like, not during production, but he died during the time of production. And so Mike Myers came in and I definitely think he really put a lot uh, to that role. Uh, in Ghostbusters, they, they had a lot of actors who originally planned for other roles, or other actors planned for roles. Um, for example, the role Ernie, Ernie Hudson played, Winston, they originally wanted um, Eddie Murphy to play that role. But he moved on to other things, obviously. Um, let's see, Batman. There's been a number of actors offered the role of Batman, as a matter of fact. Um, who was it they were talking about? Well, I know one of them in the early days was Bill Murray. He was originally, this was back during um, Ivan Reitman's time of making um, Batman. Before the 1989 film was done, they originally had uh, Bill Murray in mind to play Batman. And it was kind of interesting because when you think about it, um, that would have been sort of falling into the spirit of the 1960s series uh, with Adam West, more comical, 
uh, based. But I think they changed directors. Um, Moss Bill Murray and Tim Burton came in and did it. And obviously Michael Keaton filled that role. Who else were they were talking about? Who came up with the role of Batman? I can't remember. Um, I know there was a number of actors that were offered the role of Batman that sort of passed on it. Um, because they just didn't feel like they wanted to do it. Um, uh, who was there saying? I can't even remember. I think they even talked about, was it Eddie Murphy? I want to say it was Eddie Murphy they said they considered to play, no, it couldn't have been Eddie Murphy. But some other uh, young actor that was considered to play Robin in Batman Forever before uh, ultimately Chris O'Donnell took it over. Uh, in Predator, originally um, Jean-Claude Van Damme was supposed to play the Predator and uh, he thought it was going to be a, a him, you know, you could see it was him playing the Predator, but they put him in a suit and it was very hot apparently, like a red suit that they put him in and they did, you know, special effects with it and he just decided it wasn't worth it to him and he bailed out of it and they cast an actor who was, I think it's almost seven feet tall to play the role. So he took over. Um, probably one of the ones that's the most interesting to me is, as you know before, Arnold was the Terminator. They originally planned to use O.J. Simpson. He was a big name back then. And ultimately they decided that they didn't think the juice would come across good as a, as a violent person who could kill someone. So they moved away from him. <laughs> um, let's see. Other ones. Let's see. There's so many interesting ones I thought about. Um, I know originally that back in the day, uh, Kevin Bacon, for example, uh, that they originally wanted Tom Cruise for Footloose, but he chose not to do it because he had done risky business and he didn't want to be, you know, sort of stuck in that pretty boy dance kind of idea. So I know he passed on that. Oh, Bill Murray. As a matter of fact, this is kind of interesting. Um, in Rain Man, when they were originally sending out the offers for Rain Man, Dustin Hoffman was um, one of the people considered. So they sent him a script and said, are you interested in doing this movie? And he read it and came back and said, yes, I'm interested in doing this part. I like Raymond. He's just like a real interesting character. Well, so he said he was in. Well, apparently there was a mix-up when they sent him the script and they did not tell him which character they wanted him to play. They originally wanted him to play Charlie Babbitt, the role Tom Cruise ultimately played. But the original person they wanted to play Rain Man, Raymond, was Bill Murray. But when they got Dustin Hoffman to be on board, they weren't about to make a decision and switch Bill Murray to Charlie Babbitt. Uh, because the movie was already turning tides in a way because of the kind of actor Dustin Hoffman is so uh, Bill Murray was out and they found a new Charlie Babbitt and obviously you know who that was Elijah Wood no I'm kidding um, today's trivia answer the actors are really supposed to play those roles the role of Neo Will Smith Turned it down. Then he said later he thought he wouldn't have done a very good job. He thought Keanu killed it. He said he thought he would have destroyed it. And Morpheus, Sean Connery. 
That was the second script he did not understand. And so he chose to pass on it. Those are fascinating little insights into movies. Let's see as we close down here if I can think of anything else. I know that in Chicago, uh, the movie version of the Broadway play where Billy Flynn was played by Richard Gere, that originally, I believe they said that John Travolta was offered that role, but he uh, he passed on it. He went on to do uh, a little more of an interesting role in a uh, Broadway musical turned into a movie called Hairspray. He played a woman, so that was kind of an interesting choice. Um, let's see, who else? Is there anybody else interesting I can talk about? Um, Um, this really isn't a character thing, but during the filming of Fight Club, um, Brad Pitt uh, chipped his tooth, and he decided that he wanted to keep it chipped because he thought it added something interesting to the character, and he decided to have it fixed later on. Let's see. Um... There's so many fascinating ones too. I think I went through most of the ones I've learned about so far. Um, so there was a truth of trivia that I didn't tell you about yesterday that I think is kind of an interesting one to know about with um, regards to like uh, 